Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Subsidy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those daytime TV shows that we're doing is The Young and the Restless. I, I need a haircut. Look at that. I'm getting a mullet. Um, Alright. Young and the Restless. Wow. 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 Okay. So... Before I even get into this, let's give this a little bit of perspective. So you know how I've been kind of, if you watch all of the Sudsy recaps, if you just watch Young and the Restless, you don't know, but I've been kind of praising Days of Our Lives recently because the writing has really changed and gotten so much better. Um, but I've got, <laughs> this week, so, but this week, and you know, this week on days, they started good on Monday, but then, and they finished good on Friday, but the rest of the days were filler. And usually during Monday through Friday, you, you really need to tune in on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are usually filler days, and also, it's not just, but this time, Young and the Restless, so they had their big finale this Friday, well, not a big finale, but the big cliffhanger this past Friday, it was crazy. It was crazy. So, before we get into that, I, I need to tell you how much I love Marla Adams. I fucking love her so much. I really heart her hardcore. She is so great as Dina Mergeron. She is wonderful. So, here's the thing about her. You know, today, you know, you know, she started off at Jabot and she had uh, renegotiated some... Um, of Jabot's prices with their West Coast dis distributor, and they were all pissed off. And so Jack basically fired her from Jabot and undid everything that she did so that the people weren't pissed off. And she was livid, you know, she was very upset. Then she had lunch with Abby. Now, I do enjoy the relationship that she has with Abby. It actually is very nice and sweet and very touching, and I enjoy it, you know. Um... And, you know, what's funny is that, you know, people are like, well, she didn't even know about Abby. And I'm thinking, did she not know about Abby because Ashley didn't tell her because she wasn't really talking to Ashley? I mean, if that's the case, you can't really hold Dina responsible for that. Because especially since she's found out about her, she's really made up for lost time, right? And Abby saw her steal some sugar from the from uh, crimson lights so she thought that was kind of weird but i mean now here's where i'd be like well i mean she is an old person and that is something that a lot of old people do now i haven't been around any old people with lots of money like dina mergeron has but i mean i'm just saying it's not that out of the, the realm of possibility right um but she did take some silverware from the uh athletic club which was again weird that was weird the silverware bit was weird but the the sugar but again if you remember there's an episode of golden girls uh, which is a great episode it's the murder mystery weekend and there's a line where sophia says oh please i took a whole play setting i mean so i guess it's not that uncommon if you're an old person i guess to even take silverware and then when ashley was cleaning out her desk she found all of this you know crap like chopsticks and and um shipping tags and just all kinds of it was just it was, it was very strange so you know and and jack and ashley are just pulling their hair out they're so concerned about her but they're more con no 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 that they're they're concerned about her and they're equally as concerned about their business right because jabot is like huge so she they can't let her tank jabot right so here's the thing so you know that was pretty much monday right and then tuesday we saw and this was tuesday this was a tuesday it wasn't even like a, a big day this is how good the writing is at young and the restless tuesday was so good because the the camera showed dina and she was fully dressed sitting on her couch in the dark no television, nothing, just sitting there. I mean, it, and and Marla Adams just portrayed everything through her eyes. It was it was incredible. I I was I I was weepy. I was I didn't cry, but I mean, 
I, I, I love that woman. I was like, oh my God, let's, we need to make sure she's okay. Like, you know what I mean? She's definitely sparred with Nikki, which again, I, I fucking love that. Nikki is great too. I love Nikki as well. I've got to say, I really enjoy And you know what? She actually, um, Melody Thomas Scott actually sent me something for my birthday. Isn't that nice? So nice. She, just a little picture that she autographed and said, thank you for your support. I mean, it was so sweet. I love her. But I love Nikki Newman in general, too. I, I, but I really love that they don't get along and that they fight each other. Not fight, but like, okay, wait. So they fight. They like, um, you know, verbally spar, go at each other, right? And then at the end of Friday's, so Friday, oh, okay, so we'll come back to them. So Victor wants to throw this party for Abby. Because Abby's having this big success with Design Date, right? So she's got this huge new app that, uh, that's making all kinds of money for Newman em Enterprises. And so Victor says, I want to throw a party where I, you know, praise you. And she's like, oh my God, thank God, right? But really, the party is to announce that Victoria is coming back to Newman Enterprises as the COO. And is basically going to be running shit, really. I mean, Victor will be the ultimate, but I mean, everything under Victor is now under Victoria, including Abby. So they have this party, and Abby's invited everyone. You know, she's invited her mom and Dina, and, and you know, all these people are there. And that's when Victor drops the bomb there, and, and Abby was devastated. Now, here's the thing. I mean, I felt bad for Abby. You know who I really felt bad for was Ashley and Dina. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel bad for them, but I felt their pain because they were so proud of Abby for moving up Newman Enterprises and then Victor. And I got to say, this was really sort of, um, I mean, Victoria basically has been kind of a bitch lately. Uh, and I guess, you know, with the whole thing with her breakup with Billy and the poison face mask. All right, I understand that. Okay, I get that. That, that she's going to go through a little bit of a period where she's kind of a cunt. Okay, I get it. But it was really low, Victor, because he basically threw one child under the bus to save another one. And, and Abby, I will say... Abby kind of threw it right in Victoria's face. She's like, you know, you can you can act like you're my boss and all this shit all you want, but the reality is, is that your little uh, cosmetics company, you tanked it yourself in less than a year. So, whatever. I mean, <laughs> good for you, Abby. Okay. So, at that, so Dina and, so Dina was pissed off. She was pissed for Abby. She was pissed, which is, again, that's that shows that the, the, maternal bond that she has more with Abby than she has with her own daughter Ashley but as, I'm sure Ashley would probably rather have that than nothing right and she was she was she was like of course so typical of the Newmans to turn something in. oh oh wait okay let's let's go back we'll come back to that oh god because it was this this party was so crazy so in the party you know Victor makes his announcement or whatever Crystal shows up to the party she gets on the microphone, because Zach is at the party, too, because he's Abby's date. Crystal gets on the microphone, and she says that Zach Stinnett is the one leading a uh, uh, prostitution ring that Design Date is really a front for, and it's all being funded by Newman Enterprises, which it is true. That is the reality. That is very true. And in a way... I don't feel bad for Victoria because Victoria was kind of a bitch when she came into Newman and now she's got a huge mess that she has to clean up because of Abby. But, you know, whatever. She, Abby's not in charge anymore. Now Victoria is. So have have fun with that, girl. Um, so, so that all comes out on the mic in front of everyone. And... You know, Neil, they just hired Neil to do public relations for Newman. And, of course, he's like, oh, my gosh, don't no more pictures, no more pictures, right? So silly because, I mean, whatever. And then Dina, so Dina's at the party, and she was like, oh, so typical of the Newmans. Such a trashy display. Of course they have a prostitution ring. <laughs> I mean... I fucking love Dina. I love her. But here's the, here's the, the, the part that has me still tripping. 
Nikki gets into it with her again. And I swear to God, I think she shanked Nikki and then left. I mean, Diana Mergeron is hardcore if she's going to shank someone and then leave the party. I was like, did I just see her stab Nikki? What? She pulled out a knife from her fucking purse and sent her and left. I was like, what the hell just happened? What is going on? It was crazy. Now, it was all, now, now here's the great thing, though, is that it all makes sense. I mean, there, there was one episode of, was it Young and the Restless? Where I was like, this doesn't make, a, I mean, it, I mean, oh, one more thing, too, I gotta mention. This was, this past week, Juliet died. She died in surgery. Um, you know I love Juliet. I hope that they bring her on, um, I hope they bring her on Days of Our Lives as some sort of relative of Paul's. And, uh, because I just love her. I think that she's a great a little actress and she's wonderful. So, I hope that someone else finds some work for her because she's fantastic. Anyways, um... Yeah, she died. The baby didn't die, though, so Cain now has his baby. Juliet's father wants nothing to do with her. He tried calling him, and he's like, I don't care. You know, and Donna want to hear about the grandson. And her mom died, so, so you know, that whole thing is... That's really... It was really upsetting. Um, and on the Hillary hour, Hillary basically exposed Jordan for being a con artist on live television, too. Which, that was, like, maybe on, like, Thursday... And that was, or or even Wednesday, it, that was okay. You know, that moment was all right. It wasn't as fierce as this whole Newman party, because that, that just took things to a new level. I mean, the whole fact that, you know, Nikki got stabbed by Tina, I'm just like, what the fuck? What is going on? But it was great. I loved it, because this definitely was one of those moments where I was like, okay, wow, wow, whoa. You know, I... I didn't see that coming. And that's what Mal Young, the head writer and executive producer, that's what he told me. He said, in soap operas, you definitely want to have those moments where you say, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. So he's proving me right. And he's proving himself right by, by this whole week. It was amazing. Amazing. I'm like, I can't wait to watch next week. It's so great. It's so wonderful. Oh my gosh. I'm still so, uh, so good. Anyway, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Angel Benton. You can hashtag YArts, talk Young and the Restless with me, or you can also hashtag GH, talk General Hospital, which I'm doing next. And you can also hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get my YouTube video sent to your email inbox every single day. Thank you so much for logging on today, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.